<coughs> you got me in chains. You got me in chains for your love, but I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change this love. Trying to break the chains, but the chains only bring me. Hey guys, welcome back to Besties. I'm Daniel. Soy la Grecia. And we have another one of our kids today. This is Kurt. Um, He's baby. He is baby. He has legs. This one has. Yeah, legs. but like, he can't use them, so he, that's why he lives inside a mug. Um, he always just lives in here. And this was actually because I needed you to do my eyebrows. Uh huh. But I kind of wanted to tell him to hold it because it looks really scary. I could have fixed them before. Um, no, it's fine. This is a podcast. I just want them for the concert okay. on Thursday. <laughs> In case I have a um, what YM concert are you going to moment? Um, I'm going to go see Dominic Fike with Karina. I don't know who that is. It's okay, I love him. Is he a rapper? Um, he's a oh wait, you do know it? Okay, we're on a couple. It was like last year, I think. The song that was like three nights at the no. You don't know that one? It was like viral on TikTok. So now you just well, maybe you're nothing. not singing good. <gasps> Wait, sing it again. Three nights at the no. That was like over. That's like two. Anyways, years ago. guys. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to that concert on Thursday. That's fun. So, that's why I need you to do my eyebrows. What seats did you get? Pit? It's actually just GA. So, oh. I'm really scared because I've never been to a concert like that before. And I hate crowds. Well, I, it's not that I hate crowds. I just don't like people being pressed up against me. Good luck, we have a story time about that today. True. It's okay. I'll be distracted. Um. Anyways. Okay. Wait, why am I so frazzled right now? Follow us on our TikTok at Besties Podcast. I feel like that's where most of you come from anyway. Um, but if for some reason you're like not from there, thank you and go follow our TikTok. Um, we just post, I mainly just post clips of the um, podcast, but we're going to start posting more things on there because we have a fun little series coming up. Also, thank you to everyone who watched the New York vlog. Um, yeah, I thought you. no one was going to watch it, but people I thought it, it was just going to be for us. But I try to make it entertaining to people f- who don't even know this. Mm-hmm. That was the vibe I was going for. Hopefully it came across. Um, and then we have another series coming up. I posted there's like I've been posting teasers on like the hashtag TV Instagram, which is at hashtag TV official and on the YouTube too. Um, so you guys can theorize. It's not that deep, but it's kind of fun. It's just a fun little time. Yeah, they're going to like her. I they hope. are going to like it, I mean, especially when we start cosplaying. Plus it's the spooky season. Yeah, it is. Um, and then listen to us on Spotify, Anchor and Apple Podcasts. Anywhere you listen to spot, um, uh, podcasts. I forgot the word of these yeah. things. Anywhere you listen to podcasts. Um, and also if you ha- listen to us on Apple Podcasts, leave us a review. Um, tell us you love us. Pick which one of our kids is your favorite. Because <laughs> we can't. You Nicolette, know. Basil. Baby, Baby. And Kurt. And Kurt, uh-huh. Yeah, and then follow us on our own Instagrams at not Daniel Pena is mine and at Gracie Correa with the K is hers, um, and that's all on the hashtag TV Instagram, so you can find it there too. Um, okay, ready? Ready, <coughs> ready, love. I was trying to do like different harmonies to spice it up. Yeah, I noticed. Okay. Th- oh. It was good though. Oh, thank you. Um. Okay, Grace, you, you have to go first because I have a lot to talk yeah, about. Yeah, as always. So what did? You, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did your tears ricochet for this week? Honestly, I watched the Taylor Swift documentary on Netflix. Not the Reputation tour, but like the documentary Miss Americana, uh-huh. right? Well, the Reputation tour is literally just the tour. I yeah, thought it was yeah. a documentary, but it's, oh, no, it's, it's just, just the tour. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, yeah, Miss Americana, I think. And I hadn't watched it because, like, I n- had heard that it was sad. It's really sad. And I was, like, not in, like, the state of mind to watch it. Mm. Like, I wasn't ready to cry or, like, be depressed. But, like... You weren't ready to see the dark things that your queen goes through. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I was, like, bored. And I was, like, I, I'm just going to click on it. Like, yeah. cause you're, like, you're, it's time. Like, you're afraid to, like, watch it. Yeah. Because you're, like, what if I don't like it? Or I don't know. You're just, like, scared watching something. So I just, I mean, like, clicked on it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> so I just clicked on it and like I watched it and it was so sad. Like the what way was like, the saddest part, Gracie? Yeah. There's a lot. Okay, but what part was like resonated the most with you? Well, one of them is like I don't know. There's three actually, <laughs> three major ones. Okay, go. And one was like her having an ED. Yeah. Cause like I really, well, not exactly what she had, but like the relationship I, with food yeah it's hard and like i don't know it's just, i just like felt the pain when she was like talking about it and then they were showing clips of like the era that she but had the way it. that she described 
how she eat, like how she was thinking of food. I was like, oh, girl, let me. Yeah, too. I I was like getting triggered. Honestly, like, I don't think, well. actually, the whole like documentary, I was getting triggered with different stuff. Yeah. And, like also, her like getting sexually assaulted. She said that. Yeah. Well, the guy touched her. Remember, like the. Oh yeah, the radio host, the yeah. creep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she wanted to fight for a woman. And, like, I remember when that victims. was happening. Yeah, people were being so rude to her. Yeah. People are always rude to her. Yeah, they just they call her white savior, but like mm. she was, I guess she's just popping off. And like also like with the Spotify, like I remember when she didn't have her music on Spotify at a first. A lot of people cancel her for yeah, that. Yeah, and but what she was trying to do, like I think we talked about this before, but she was trying to make it so that other like young, like smaller indie artists weren't taken advantage of mm-hmm. by like Spotify, Apple Music, that kind of thing. Yeah. So she popped off, especially because like now, like I feel like with TikTok, every single day. I get like a TikTok that's like someone sitting in their car and they're like, I wrote this song, blah, blah, blah. And then they sing their song. Uh-huh. Do you get those? Yeah. I literally get like six a day. Yeah. So that popped off. But yeah, I cry, f- cry for that part. No. Wait, what part did I talk about? Kanye? No, you I talk about now? the ED and then the grouping. I cry about that one too. The what? Like when they touch you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I also cried for like the Kanye part. How, like, the whole world, like, turned against but her. But it's, like, when a she different kind of... It's, like, angry. Cr- like, it made me so mad. No, yeah. I was... You know, like, sometimes you're so mad and, like, that you, like, cry. Yeah, because you don't know how to express yeah, it. Yeah, like, nothing I want to, like, make no, okay, Kanye... Stop. S- okay. Suffer. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something No. Worse. Just, like, suffer. Like, the way he made, like, our queen do it. <laughs> and, like, what gets me so mad is that Kim participated on that as yeah. a woman. Yeah. Like, Kim, tearing another woman down. And also, like, I thought they were getting divorced. Were they not? And no, they Kim, were. Kim was at the. He remarried her at the weird little event for I his. I thought it album. was fake. A fake remarried. Oh, it's not Kim. A, a fake remarried marriage. Oh really? I don't know. I'm not a fan. I didn't even watch. I that. didn't. I didn't watch it because it looked like a cold. It's scary. Yeah, it like I'm not a fair speak saying this, but like Kanye scares the fuck out of me. I'm not very. I he I literally he, he's disgusting, especially because like to bring out the baby and Marilyn Manson. Yeah. That's. You know, like, he knows exactly what message he was saying. That was, like, a warning to uh, survivors and, like, victims. Like, that's that's yeah. literally a threat. That's saying, like, we don't tr- believe you. Yeah. So, Kanye West, I don't like you. And I he will just, like, saying. he was missing R. Kelly and, like, Chris Brown. No, he honestly. said, I saw this rumor that, like, he wanted to have Donald Trump also be there. He's disgusting. He's disgusting. Like, Kanye if you listen to, like, Kanye, like, there's and something seriously wrong with you. It was you. so weird because everyone always posts, like, oh, my God, believe survivors. And then they were all posting, like, oh, donda. Yeah. I was like, what? More like tonta. Tontex. And they're like, I separate the artist from like... I can't do that, sorry. Because like, no. then you're giving money to that person. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. It's different when with it's like... Uh, like, for example, a movie. That's like hundreds of people work on a movie. Mm-hmm. You can't tie it down to one person. But even like with music, like, yes, there are producers and there are writers and there are all that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like one person's vision. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the time. With like bigger He's artists, like I guess. The, fi- the public? The no, figurehead? Like, yeah, the face of it. Yeah, that's why. Like that's why it matters. But yeah, all that the part are like disgusting. They always do sketchy things. So, but at the same time, it's like still grossed me out. So that part also grossed me out. There was a, another. Oh, and then the voting, like when she was like wanted to vote. We when she oh the, the the like the whole Tennessee for thing. the Tennessee thing. Yeah, I thought that was iconic. And, and she was crying to her dad. Yeah, and she. I don't know. She's just like that is like okay. Like I remember people being like, "Oh, that, like, oh, she like is like it's the first time she has to worry about politics," and like I get that, but like the documentary wasn't about like, it was about Taylor. So it's like Taylor's life. But like you weren't about, watching it for politics. I you were feel like it was like about her growing up as a person and realizing it is. that <laughs> she there's doesn't want <laughs> people to there's to go through the okay, shit she went through. Yeah, and she wants to like she's uh, she's like grow. She's realizing that. Her Your voice matters. Yeah, and then, like what she said, bef- like with with her like platform, she should talk about these mm-hmm. things. And I feel like she's redeemed herself from like not saying anything. Mm-hmm. Like so many of her music videos are like like she t- for charity and then, like, she brings stuff. awareness to a lot of stuff. Yeah, like obviously she's not a perfect celebrity, but no, I mean she's doing more than a lot of them. Yeah, and people still like judge her when I'm they should us defending a white woman for thirty minutes straight. Well, our white Actually, woman. more like a twelve episodes, <laughs> right? <laughs> we always defend Taylor. I, on it, oh, she I feel like our, our demographic of like our besties Swifties. don't. Yeah, I don't think they're. I think Kanye they're. All, I feel like they're all Swifties. Also, I was looking at our analytics on YouTube, and it says that one hundred percent of our viewers are female. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but if you're a guy bestie or a 
or a non-binary bestie, comment down below. Yeah, we want to know. We want to know our demographic. Anyways, oh, okay. that's kind of iconic though. That the is all girly. Yeah. Yeah, it's bestie vibes only. <laughs> my God, there's a bunch of ants on my microphone. Yeah, I see it. What's <laughs> wrong with that? I don't know. It's just annoying me. I don't know. I'm just gonna say, like, for whoever hasn't watched the documentary, like, either you're a fan or not, I feel like you need to watch it, cause like. Our moms watched it before we did. No, yeah, my mom gonna. watched it, cause cause Taylor has cats. <laughs> the cats aren't even that much in it. Yeah, they're like twice, <laughs> and she still watched it because of that. Your mom's at period. <laughs> um. Okay. Here we go. Buckle up, everybody. I have a lot to say this this week. So just like compare what I cried for, and then what Daniel cried for. Okay, yeah, compare it. Grace, one of mine is actually really depressing. Well, why do you always make me depressed? Because <laughs> that's what the segment um, is. We should do a, a My Tears Don't Ricochet segment. We should, like, ask people what their tears ricochet for, for, like, the last episode or something. Mm, okay. Right. Okay, Um. so the first one I have is that the Duncan Duck died. So I don't that know. That is sad, though. No, Grace, I was not okay because I was just scrolling through my little For You page. And then I see this one. It was like an audio. And it was the one of like, sometimes. Like, I don't even know. It was like with the up music. Like, oh, I hate that one. I always skip that. Okay, whatever. So it was the video of the duck. And I was like, why is this girly crying? And then like, it's cutting to the duck and back to her. And then I read the caption and it was like, like Duncan passed away. And I was like. How old was that duck? No. So basically they think the duck had like. I don't know that she explained the whole there was like a whole there was like four videos of her explaining what happened Mm -hmm. um and so like it was like they wasn't really they could do much about it because apparently and I didn't know this but so chickens because people eat them and consume them um there's a law that means that you can't give them antibiotics because then the humans will be eating those antibiotics Mm -hmm. and so because of that a lot of like aviary like a lot of like bird pets so like ducks and that kind of thing there's no there's really 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 hard to get antibiotics for them because of the laws that apply to all like that's fucked up yeah what if they're pets yeah and so basically she couldn't get antibiotics for duncan i'm gonna start crying no okay i'm i'm really triggered at the like at the meat industry let me let me i hate the meat industry and that's all i'm gonna say vegetarian but also we don't want to shame anyone because not everyone can afford to be vegetarian i know i'm saying meat industry i'm not saying the people oh yeah because it's it's like on capitalism Wait, let me find all the our problems account. were built by men. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you jumped from that to <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, so d- <laughs> the Duncan Ducks. Oh, it's literally just called Duncan Dot Ducks. So there's a bunch of Duncan Ducks. Like I think the most famous one is like the white one. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the one with the ice, right? The water. Yeah, but they would all drink the ice. But this, oh. the duck that died, was named Duncan, and so she was telling the story of the last day and how like she. T- she noticed that like uh, none of the ducks were like super depressed, but uh, and so she was like, "That's so weird. Like, why aren't they sad?" Because the ducks do grieve. Like she had mentioned that like when other ducks would die, like the ducks would grieve, mm-hmm. but those were like sudden deaths. And so she was saying that like with this one, like she thinks that the ducks knew that he was gonna. That's so I'm gonna sad. start crying. He, she thinks that the ducks knew that they were gonna die, so they like had time to say goodbye. And the duck. But did she <laughs> know he was sick for a while? Yeah, no, something was wrong with the duck. Like uh. it was pooping green. And so then, whatever, she was like, Donut wasn't sad. Because there's another duck called Donut. <laughs> and guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like crying right now. There's another duck called Donut. And she's like, why isn't Donut sad? But she noticed that, like, that day. Because, like, they were always together. But she noticed that that day, like, they let Duncan, like, be alone. Mm-hmm. And then Duncan died in her arms. That's Duncan died in her arms? Yeah, like, he waddled over to her. and then No, then it's Donut. We're just getting started, folks. We should have a moment of silence for Duncan. Okay. Should we sing for Duncan? No. We said moment of silence. Oh. <laughs> okay, forget it. You can't shut up. <laughs> Sorry. It's a podcast. Okay, the next one I have is this lady who cr- cleaned the graves. So, she like, I don't know if you guys have seen these TikToks. I feel like you've seen them. Yeah. I feel like you sent me one and that's how I found her. I, yeah. So, she basically, what she does is she goes to the cemetery and she finds graves that are like super, super old that are just so like um, past repair that like they're like covered in like moss, moss and yeah. they're so dirty that you can't even read the name so what she does is she goes and she, and it's a video of her cleaning it so it's like kind of asmr so you're hearing the delicious mm-hmm. sounds of her like <laughs> scraping it off and then the on water top of pressure that, yeah that's so good it's, i love the water and it's so refreshing to see it clean yeah and so but on top of that she's like will usually find the story of that person and then like it's a voiceover so she's like reading the um she's telling the story of the person who died and then like also cleaning the grave 
so that people can like see it again. And like she, I read an interview with her. I, I went down like a rubber. This, by the way, same time. This is within the same hour. It was like midnight, and um, <laughs> she did this article with Atlas Obscura, and she was talking about how like she like there were so many like minorities that like their stories were already like erased so she would like bring them to a new audience so it's like i don't know the way she was explaining was like uh, if maybe not everyone can go visit it but the six million people who watch the video it's like now they know the story so now six million people know the story of that person but then so someone had asked her like why do you do this Mm -hmm. like what made you want to do this and so she was she did like a story time about how like um her ex-husband like took her kids from her because like she was like uh, she wasn't okay so something was happening Mm -hmm. and so then the kids like left and then they went with the ex-husband um and so that was like she said it was like the worst thing ever but then like she was talking about it and she said each and every um grave that i clean heals a little part of me Mm. and i was not okay i was so sad grace now that's like it reminded me of Coco because she said oh, remember yeah. me yeah <laughs> should we sing that song no remember <laughs> me anyways there was this one time actually I'm, that is not a story time for the podcast I'll tell you after okay Okay, and then the last one I have this one's really scary and really sad like <laughs> I almost didn't want to talk about it because I was like it might be too much but uh-huh. I'm just gonna say it so there was this TikTok account called A Taste of Alex okay so it was this woman named Alexandra Blankenbiller and so she would post on TikTok a bunch of about a bunch of random stuff um, and then at on uh, wait, what was this? August thirteenth, she posted this video. And she's in the hospital, and she said, um, "COVID got me, guys. Do not wait to go vaccinated. Go now, and please pray slash send good vibes for me." And she puts it's a video of her like in the hospital, and there's like people screaming, and then like. Wait, I think I seen that woman. Well, there was people screaming in the background, and so like people were like, like someone died, and so the family Wait, members I think were I did see this one stop yeah no, I, have, I have really bad news okay so then um she was doing a couple this was august 14th someone was like why are you there if you got the vaccine she's like she didn't get the vaccine but she because she wanted to get it with her whole family mm-hmm. and so she was trying to convince her family to get it but they didn't want to and so like she was like well i'm not going to get it without them so she, i'm going to wait to get it with them and she got covid and then um people other people were saying like oh that's not covid but she was like it's literally covid i'm in the hospital for it And then the last video was on August 15th. And I was like, it's been like a week. So I started looking at the comments. And then people were saying like, um, yeah, she got, she went on a ventilator. What is it called? Ventilator. Ventilator. Um, And then she passed on, I don't remember what day. but That's so sad. Because I did see that TikTok, Daniel. Yeah, so she passed away. And I was reading the comments and people were like, oh, now I'm like going to get vaccinated, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, that's, like guys just get vaccinated. Why like would you wait for someone to die to get one? I don't know. That was so depressing, guys. Usually we have cry about dumb things, but today was really depressing. How should we be happy again? We should not do this segment. <laughs> <laughs> or we should do it at the end. Yeah, we should. This is so depressing. Okay, we have... No, now this is the pop opera of the week. Okay. Who's yours? Oh, I had some and I forgot already. Okay, I'll do mine first. My popover of the week is Little Marlise. So, uh, Marlise was at Disneyland. Oh, my oh God. Oh, yeah. Marlise was at Disneyland this weekend. No. What? When did she go? Yesterday? Two days ago. Two days ago. Was that the weekend? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. It was Sunday. Because she's like, she's like a <laughs> Disney adult pass holder. Like, or like, what are they called? Magic key or something. Oh, that scared me. What? The sound of the, your coffee? What did you think it was? I don't know. The... the Chupacabra. So then she was at Disneyland popping off and she like sees on social media that Joshua Bassett is at Disneyland. She's like, I have to find him. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not what she said, but um, <laughs> she was like, I have to find something him. along the lines. Something along the lines. She was like, I have to find him. And so last time, like a couple times ago when we were at Disneyland, she was trying to, we were there because we were trying to find him and we didn't find him. So she was like, I'm going to look around him everywhere. So she had like notifications on like keeping up with where he was. Keeping up with it, Joshua. Yeah, keeping up with Joshua. And then she saw like a thing that he was like at like Adventureland or something, Indiana Jones. I don't know. And so she runs over there with her um, cousin. cousin Luciana and they found him. And she had a little picture with him. And he said that he liked her high school musical bike. Yeah, he wanted to steal it, I'm pretty sure. I think he wanted to spit on it, actually. <laughs> but also, no, you know what happened? Mm-hmm. The the Joshua Bassett Stan account saw it. And so, like, I'm going to read you guys my comments on her post because I thought they were really good. And but other people also left some good comments. The, Josh, I mean, the Joshua Bassett fans didn't like them, honey. So, like, I, okay, I'm gonna just going to read all of them. So someone said, 
<laughs> no, these are scary. Wait, these are really scary. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to read mine first. So I said, do you get deja vu, Marlies? He said forever, but now you walk alone past Tomorrowland. Sad face. He betrayed you. And then he also wrote, he looks happy and healthy. Not you, though. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> and then um, someone said, when you share strawberry ice cream. And then Gracie said, y'all make a cute couple. So that wasn't really the assignment, but Gracie still popped off. And then Julie said, was he with the blonde girl? And I said, I think so. And that always made her doubt. And then Marley said, yeah, she's a bit older than me and is everything I'm insecure about. Aww, that's so sad. And then Karina said, you're both of age, so at least he won't be your favorite cry. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. <laughs> but anyways, the Josh of Asses dance found it on Twitter and we're like, saying that like she doesn't care about josh she doesn't deserve him i'm like you guys don't understand we can be fans of both people yeah like relax I, we just think it's funny it's literally not that deep yeah and also he's not gonna see it he's not gonna see it mm, Anyways, that's what you say now well even if you saw it i don't care they were funny yeah Hopefully they he can laugh at them yeah and i'm staying I'm, i support both of them right what about sabrina do you support her uh, yeah i don't have anything against okay, her fair. i don't think any of them did anything wrong. well I think it was Josh gaslighting people. Josh, yeah. Especially because Olivia was underage. Yeah, like, we don't know all the tea of what happened back there. But, but one thing we can say, she was underage. Yeah, what we can, yeah. <laughs> she was his favorite girl. <laughs> Shut up, Grace. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get literally sued. Oh, sorry. I want him to come on the podcast. Allegedly his favorite crime. How about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Is that what the song's about? No. I literally, wait, what's it about? Actually, I don't know. I thought yeah. crime was a metaphor. Yeah, me too. Okay, whatever. Is, is that who popped up? Yeah. Or at least meeting her idol. Yeah. yeah. And she already wanted it for a while, so. She's been I'm, wanting it. I'm like, I was so happy for she her. She got what she was asking for. You know when, like, some, like, your friend, like, achieves something they really want, like, it just makes you happy. Yeah. And it and feels Marlisa's like an achievement. Is, and Marlisa's is meeting certain celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> like, when we met Justin, it felt like she got an Oscar. Yeah. Just so Bieber. scary. Yeah. Your yeah. turn. So my proper offer of the week, I actually not really sure still. Grace, yeah, <laughs> Grace is the queen of preparation. But one thing I can tell you, what just happened? I'm just gonna say like the like TAs. What's like, going on? What I'm just saying. But what did you see that you reacted to? Nothing. So I'm gonna say like TAs like in co- like universities pop off because okay. I feel like they don't get like enough praise for like all the hard work they do and like people don't like respect them they see them like if they were like it were like a student. You were being really scary this morning, by the way, about that. She was like, if I was a teacher, I would fail all of them. No TA. If I was the t- can the TA fail people? Uh, from their points, because remember they had like oh, yeah. some points to get they grade you for mm. but yeah it's because like some like people don't even talk during during discussions and they don't participate when it clearly says on the like on the what's it called in el papelito el the recito. syllabus in the syllabus it says that you need to participate to get points and some people don't turn on their cameras and they don't talk at all i love turning on my camera because i want attention yeah me too and i've gotten little canvas dms because of it so. not even kidding there's uh, in my ta class for history there's 14 people only three of us talk uh, guys, if you have Zoom class right now, which a lot of you probably do, turn on your camera because you never know. Someone might like your poster in the background or something in the background and you might make a friend like that. Yeah. And also, it's nice for your teachers because imagine having to talk to nothing, mm-hmm. like a bunch of words. And sometimes they need feedback to know what they're doing right or yeah. what they have to clarify. And I don't know. Like, I get like it's still school, but like, just do it yellow. Yeah. And you can still be on your phone with your camera on. Yeah, just treat your TAs better. That's what I'm going to say. Because they're like, a lot of them are nice. And also go to their office hours. They're lonely. Like my TA was telling me that I'm the only one that like goes. And I'm like broke my heart. And I just like started talking to her because she's like also a history major. So I like start asking her questions to like know more about my mm, major. Major, yeah. So you said period. mm, Yeah. But yeah, they pop off. And also I'm going to say like, I went to get my teeth like. I got x-rays. Oh, my God. Where is it? I'm scared. No. I'm just saying, like, also dentists pop off. Like, student dentists. Like, oh, oh, you got a student dentist? Yeah, because, like, one of my friends is, like, in Southwestern. Oh, wait. You told me this. Maybe yeah, I Yeah, and that. she, like, she was asking for volunteers, so I went. And it was really nice. How did I, it feel? It was good. Like, <laughs> they were obviously learning. They were, like, getting help from, like, the instructor. But, honestly, like, that's pretty cool. 
in. They popped off. Well, mm-hmm. so I'm going to get a free cleaning at some point. And they like my <laughs> shirt, by the way. That's actually a really good transition to the next one. So we wanted yeah. to start a fun little um, segment. Wait, I need to explain my shirt first. Actually, no, you do that. In the Wait, head. is that your... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. That's why. Um, so the, seg- the new segment... We don't have a fun little name for it. Comment down below if you if you have an idea for some little name but basically we're each gonna um each week we're each gonna have a small business that we're gonna like plug and we're gonna talk about why we like them blah blah whatever um so we're each wearing things from oh my god me already getting coffee on the shirt (gasps) (laughs) no (laughs) is this gonna come out does coffee stain no it doesn't well sometimes actually does that does that look like it's gonna stain I don't know. Great. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> what does it say? Manly men. <laughs> it's is that pizza? It's hairy. Oh, I can't see it. Can so you like show me? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's that's a picture so of his cute. tutu from my. Uh, it looks okay. like a piece of chicken from this one. <laughs> <laughs> like a fried chicken. Yeah, get rico. So, well, not really. I'm vegetarian. Okay, so basically, the little story time is like there was that girly, that one, Candace Owens. She's like a Republican and she was saying how like bring back manly men because yeah. of Harry Styles like dress photo shoot. And so then Harry Styles posted a picture in a dress and was like bring back manly men. And I thought it was iconic. And then this girly made a merch and it's Harry Styles SNL tutu picture um, with some little flowers and it says manly men. And I was like, I need that shirt. Um, her, her store is called at Eroda gift shop. So if you're a Harry Stan, like it's a little reference to his um, adore you music video. And she has a lot of, like, fun merch for, like, the n- new, like, tour. Um, so, like, love. I know a lot of people are going to his concert. So, like, she's released merch for that. Because his merch is ugly. Yeah. So ugly. I'm not even going to pretend it's not. It's really ugly. I don't have any of his merch. Well, I got one from, like, the pop-up shop because it said L.A. That was the only reason I got it. Even <laughs> that shirt's really ugly, honestly. Um, it's so, also, like, cheap quality looking. Yeah. This is such a good quality. First of all, I love this color. I don't have anything else this color. It's comfort colors. I don't know if you guys, like, it's, like the most comfy shirt brand to exist um they do run a little large i feel like this is an extra large and i feel like it's really big mm-hmm. so maybe like size down but yeah i really like her designs um i also have a sticker from the, her it's she really nice it's a really nice color yeah and i noticed i look really good in green <laughs> wait where did <laughs> wait where is she where's the shop from you said it i uh, her instagram is at a road gift shop i mean wait doesn't she have an etsy or did i not? she has an etsy okay oh wait at Eroda Gift Shop. Yeah, it's, she has an Etsy. And she also has, like, a, um, a website, I think. Mm-hmm. But I bought this one on Etsy. Oh, period. Yeah. Anyways. So, I'm wearing this shirt that says, I was raised. You're not speaking into the microphone. Oh. Wait, can you read it? Because I can't read. Yeah. <laughs> it says, I was raised to cook and clean for my husband. And there's a beautiful picture of Logan Lerman. Looking, looking into the distance with his little gray looking hairs. Looking hot as fuck. <laughs> Sorry. You got really turned sorry. on right now. That was really scary. Sorry. I was... We already... Refi- Barbie said don't say sorry. Oh, yeah. That's true. We refilmed this because the, the camera... Like, the camera glitched. Turned off. I don't really know what's going but on. But what I was saying is that Daniel said that this sh- when it, this picture came out, like, it shook the world. Like, everyone was going crazy. And I got a WAP. And I that's was... That's not hard for you, though. That's true. You get a WAP. Like also, like, I want to, like, the OGs, like, Logan Lerman's... Yeah stands like i used to have like a fan account on instagram and it was like connor and the something i realized the other day when i was looking at the hashtag tv hey we're filming okay the birdies were being loud um something i noticed the other day <laughs> i'm them talking back to me Cállate. they're, they're ma- laughing yeah they are they have a attack anyways so what i noticed was that the hashtag tv instagram i think it used to be the fan account because i was looking through some of the followers and a lot there's like a lot of logan Lerman fan accounts grace yeah so that's really cool. But I, I don't know how that happened. How did I? How did that happen? I gave you the account because I was like, we don't need it. Because I don't need it or something. Oh, and I had followers already? Yeah. Period. But I miss it. And I don't know. He's just beautiful. And he's aging really good. And I still love him. And I miss him. Like, DM me. But he's happy. He's in a happy relationship. Yeah. So don't DM good me. Good for you. You look happy. But, Dil- but Dylan O'Brien yeah. can DM me. Oh yeah. Is he single? I didn't talk about the account. I oh mean, yeah. Okay, so wait, is Dylan Brian single? What? Is Dylan Brian single? I thought he was dating yeah. someone. Pretty sure he's single. Okay, so that means it's your time. Yeah. But uh, anyways, I got this shirt from this girl on Instagram called But Girl Two Thousand. And yeah, if you go into her account you can like shop. But she has like what a lot of like have? I love the new like trend that's like ironic t shirts. 
Like yeah. that. Like I love those. I was gonna get one that said like child of divorce and it was Harry and Taylor. Uh-huh. But then they weren't selling it anymore. And I don't wanna get a knockoff one, so Yeah. Wait, bug? Yeah. Yeah. But girl two thousand. Two hundred. Oh. Um, it should have been two thousand. It should have been two thousand. <gasps> That's oh, where I got the pit bull shirt. It's the ones who made the um the Taylor Swift is my wife, I will never get a divorce. Yeah. I was gonna get that shirt. I love this brand. But also like she, oh, she has a pit bull shirt. She has a what Poshmark? No, not a Poshmark. Oh, she has a Depop and sometimes like if she messes up with the printings, she sells them on Depop cheap cheaper. Like mess up how? I don't know. Sometimes it like slightly off, oh. off center and stuff. I've gotten shirts from Walmart. I don't mind this little <laughs> off center design. So yeah, I didn't Oops. know that till like I bought this. So then I, I honestly would have gotten like the slightly off one. But I got. I'm free looking shipping. at her right now. They have some really fun ones. Yeah. <gasps> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. I don't know. I oh love my her. no! This one of Harry. Mommy let me dress myself. They're like really scary, but in a good way. In a really good way. Taylor, I want to get the Taylor Swift as my wife one. Or the Phoebe Bridgers one. For the concert. <gasps> Cowboy, cowgirls don't cry. Ride, baby, ride. And it's Tom Holland. That, I wanted to buy that. Wait, why? I don't get it. I don't know. I'll shut up about feminism as soon as we get another Twilight movie. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to buy that one too. Do not perceive me. This is my boyfriend, and he is very jealous. And it's Timothy Chalamet. How do they come up with this? It's so weird. I don't know. I think she has visions at night. Or <laughs> 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 this one says Edward Cullen is pale and cold. He is the perfect boyfriend for me because I get hot at night and know plenty about sunscreen because of my intense skincare routine due to my stress acne. And then it's a picture of Robert Pattinson. There's the I don't know. All the shirts are pretty cool. So honestly, if They're you want something unique. like a little weird and a you want like attention, starter. yeah. Because <laughs> honestly, I wore this to the dentist today, and like all the girlies liked it. They all came to me and they're like, "What are you wearing?" You would, really? <laughs> they wanted to read my shirt, and they're like, "Oh my god, I love that." So. And I like that they got it was ironic. Yeah, because like I would bro- not cook and clean for any for a man. Oh yeah. Only Logan, honestly, or Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, and, yeah. that was our small business of the week. Comment down below if you have any you want us to check out, and maybe they will be on an episode. We know these people have a lot more followers than we do, but, like, just, it's fun. Uh-huh. I like talking about small businesses. Okay, so I have a little story time. Okay, <clears throat> so basically this weekend was one of our friend's birthdays. Wait, was it this week? Wait, when was it? It was, like, a Friday? Monday. Oh. Wasn't it Friday? Oh, it was a Friday. It was a Friday. It was our friend's birthday, and so first of all, I thought he had gone to LA. I was very confused when he was here, because mm-hmm. I literally thought he moved like a week ago. Like, did he make like a big deal on social media? He was like, "Oh, like goodbye for it." Like, that's literally crazy though. <laughs> and so we were supposed to go celebrate with our friend Marlies, and then it was gonna be me, Grace, and Marlies. And Marlies was feeling sick, so like she had to get a Rona test. So we hadn't seen her in like a week, and so she had she was waiting on the results for a really long time. And so we, she was like, I guys, I don't think I'm going to go. But we were like, well, because, we, okay, so it was like basically the birth backstory. The birthday party was going to be at a club. And, like, we've never been to, well, I've never been to a club. Mm-hmm. The TJ ones, but those don't count. I have been to a few ones here, but they were 18 plus, so also not really. No, yeah. This was I the mean, they were scary people, so I g- it does count. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Well, then I went to a lot of clubs, honey. Um, and so basically we just didn't want to go alone because we were like, Cause there was he was gonna have other people there, but like, you know when like you're gonna go somewhere and you don't really know anybody and then you're just kind of there, like I didn't know who else was gonna go, mm-hmm. and so I was like Gracie, we need to bring someone else. So I asked her friend Kim. I was like, what? We literally no, but also we were almost not gonna go because like we were scared mm-hmm. and we were like l- literally not gonna go. We were inside Walmart. We were like, yeah, no, we're just not gonna go. And then like we got inside the car. But also he hadn't texted. It was like all day, so we were yeah, like, so oh, we okay, he's sure. canceling or yeah, something. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, do you, if you're listening to this, pretend we didn't say any of this. Yeah. But we, it doesn't matter because what we thought we were going to do is different than what we ended up doing. Mm-hmm. So none of this matters because we did end up going. And so um, <laughs> we we were in the car and I was like, Gracie, should we just go? Like, we already said we were going to go. We already told him we were going to no, go. No, he sent a picture. He was like waiting for you guys at the club. Or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he sent a picture of him with a drink. And he was like, Daniel and Gracie, I better see you guys here. And we were like, and we got scared. We didn't even think about it. We we're like, we're coming. <laughs> yeah, we we're like, okay. 
<laughs> so, but also like we really we we're down to do scary things i'm not sure why like we do it because it's scary i think more in the sp- spirit of the moment like don't let us think we just yeah 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 if we think too hard i'm gonna start coming up with reasons not to go yeah so y- we just have to do it instantly or like geo said like you better i better see you guys yeah. threaten us too that also works yeah because that scared us yeah and so um so we're like okay i guess we have to go i'm not even wearing like i changed when i got to my house but because i was just wearing like a t-shirt and shorts a tie-dye shirt and shorts mm-hmm. and then we also weren't sure if there was like a dress code because i know yeah. in some bars and clubs but it was not because people weren't even yeah. wearing clothes because in some clubs you need if you were wearing like shorts you yeah. can't go in yeah <laughs> anyways so <laughs> then um okay so i we asked kim we're like hey do you want to come with us and she's like yeah let me just get dressed also she's like i'm just gonna throw something on and she came dr- like popped off with her little mirror ball ear- I mean, yeah. <gasps> disco ball earrings and no like, mirror ball yeah, Maribel. I and almost so stole them from her. You should have ripped them off during the dance from pretend someone <laughs> else stole them. <laughs> and so, um, okay, so like we've heard of this club before. Like we knew it existed because it's a reputation in the area. Big, rep- yeah, it has a big reputation. And so it's it's in the gay area of San Diego. It's not. The, is it, I don't think is it promoted as a gay bar. Yeah, everyone says it's a gay club. But like, it, was it always that, or did it become that? Why is it called Flicks? I'm pretty sure it is. Like, what are you flicking? Because your penis. I don't think you flick it. Yeah, when you pee. <laughs> 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 Why did you do that sound effect? Because isn't that how it sounds? No. Oh. We'll make. Like, do oh. it again. No, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I don't remember even what sound you made. Yeah. That's why I was confused. <laughs> Anyways, so like as a big reputation. And so we were like, uh, f- that's also what we were scared to go because we didn't know what to expect. And so we're like, whatever, let's just go. Whatever, it's Friday. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Also, I realized once we were there that like when the day that Joe Biden won the presidency, we were like out and about. Mm-hmm. And like we were like just walking down that street. And like there was a TV on showing his speech. So we were watching it just outside that club. And I was like, we were watching the Joe Biden speech outside of a gay club on accident we didn't even know and so whenever we go inside also when they said a gay club what i was expecting was that they just like i expected more girlies i did t- i expected like bachelor parties and i also uh-huh. expected like um like t- taylor swift fan boys oh, well that's not what I- what i, I think know. we had very different expe- okay you know let's like each say our expectations you know like arinators i don't know i was just expecting a different crowd also, I wasn't expecting people that many. People are age, I think. That's there we go. There mean. we go. There we go. That's what we mean. People are. Age. I thought it was gonna be people are age, and I th- for some reason I thought it was gonna be like a high school dance. Me too. Or like just like it's twenty-one. Because we were so innocent and pure, Gracie. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why we didn't know the things we were gonna see. Because <laughs> it's so scary. So we find really good parking, like s- some of the best parking we've ever found. Not even a meter parking either. No, it was meter, but it was like free. yeah, yeah, it was free. Um, oh my god, what is going on? It was on? like right around the corner. We literally yeah. walked like ten feet. But it also that scared. I didn't like that because we had no money. T- like as soon as we got out of the car, we were like, okay, go inside, and like it was scary. Like that's, that's true. You can get us to do things. Like just don't give us time to think. And, like, that's what the universe wanted. They were just like, don't think about it, just go. Uh-huh. And so we, g- <laughs> there was no line either. But it was weird because it was super packed. Super full. Cool. And so we get up to the front of the line and the bouncer, like, just looks at our IDs and, like, laughs at us. <laughs> 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 also, this is the second time someone has laughed I at us. I don't blame him. Our, like our IDs sure. look like mug shots. We look like um, different people, okay? Yeah. Well, we were also, like, we're, like, 20 pounds less in the... I'm now like 60 than in that pounds picture. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we look different. Um, and so and, uh, we look mad. <laughs> so we get inside. I have to lead just because like I was in the front. So like I didn't know what's going on. So there's like a little outdoor patio, and then you step inside. Sensory overload immediately, and I had never been to a club. So like people I, were like packed. It was packed to the brim. No, yeah, and I was like, oh my god, I don't even know what's going on. And like looking back, it really wasn't that big. I don't know how we didn't see him at first. It literally it's because there was too many people and like everyone was like dancing I just on each other <laughs> and it's too much like too many people you can't even concentrate on a single yeah. person also we were quite literally the only people wearing masks there was one other person yeah. everyone else maskless and i was like yeah i'm not taking my mask off because i will be getting there is rona in the air <laughs> i can smell it and yeah and you can smell it something honey because it was there's so many smells there. and Musty, Things. yeah. And so, okay, we're gonna set the scene. You know, in Euphoria, <laughs> when 
they were in that one party. It was like a house party. I don't remember what party. I think it was like Nate's house party. It was a Halloween one, right? Oh, the Halloween one. The Halloween one. When there's like lights everywhere and like they're all like on drugs. That's what I felt like I stepped into. Mm-hmm. Someone else's like drug haze. Yeah, I felt like we weren't supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. I don't think we were. I don't think we were either, Gracia. And so we were just like walking around not knowing what to do. And I was like, Gracia, please text him and ask him where he is because I'm really scared. And I don't know where to go. And like we were like, pressed. oh my God, we were touching so many people. And I felt so great. Everyone was all sweaty. Like, also, oh my God, it was so hot in there. And no one was wearing shirts. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so basically. So, okay, wait, it was a gay club, but we've never been to a gay club before. So we didn't know what to expect. I didn't know there was go-go dancers. <laughs> Also, like, it was 99% men. And first, I know it's a gay club, but I was expecting, like, 50% was, more men. Yeah, there was, like, I'd want to say, like, 20% girl, women. Because no, there was, was a lot of... Our, the group we were with was, like, true. mostly girls. Yeah. And the two girlies making out behind me. Oh. Maybe and there was, like... like w- there was, like, like, 15%, okay? <laughs> we're queens of math. There was, like, one woman with every group of male guys. What just happened? Nothing. Oh. Anyways, so we were um It was just too much men for me. But I was asking for it for going. <laughs> yeah, I don't so know. So I can't even like complain about it. Yeah, I'm crazy complaining about men being <laughs> at a gay club. <laughs> um <laughs> so then um uh, we finally find where he is and I was like, Oh, like we're hi happy birthday and then um Kim's like, Well I'm gonna get because I was like, You guys can drink but I'm driving so I'm not gonna drink. So we get to the the little bar. I also don't know how to order drinks at like that kind of place. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you just had to shove your body in there. Yeah, it's really scary. It looked really scary. I don't know how Kim did like, it. Like yelled. She was just like. But also, I don't there. even. There's no menu. <laughs> there's like I don't. Are you just supposed to know your drink? Yeah. I. What's your drink? I don't know one. I don't have one. I just always ask for some sort of margarita. It's my to go drink. I love is like the Slurpee ones. Not always. If you say like you want it blended, or you can say over ice. Or on the rocks, actually. The rocks. That's so professional. Yeah. Okay, pretend I'm the bartender. Order your drink. <gasps> no. I'm f- Did you hear the purge start? Yeah. What is that? Okay, go. I'm. I'm the. I'm the bartender. I can't say. I'm scared. Boom, like I'm already boom, imagining boom. a scary man, like the waiting there for me. Okay, pretend I'm a woman bartender, and I have like tattoos, and I have my head shaved. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Hi, girly. Hi. C- can I have a? You know, you're so pretty. I, I mean, <laughs> okay. can I? Can I? Can this I? Is not what bad. Oh. I don't know what just happened. Okay. Can We're I not I role playing. I thought it would be more fun. Okay, okay, okay. Spit it out. <gasps> it's, <laughs> it's good. Can I see the menu? <laughs> we don't have a menu. Wait, so how am I so? You're just supposed to know what you want. Okay, I'm gonna what? go over there and. Like no, no, <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, <laughs> and scene. <laughs> we didn't even order. Yeah, cause she left me. <laughs> that's true. That's right where she left me. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. And yeah, that was like award-winning acting. Thank you. Madison Ray could never. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't even watch the movie. I don't and know. then I watched it probably tonight. <sighs> okay, and then anyways, so Kim ordered her, her and Gracie a drink, and it was really frightening how that was happening, and also. I noticed that like half the people were not wearing shirts. I'm like, is that allowed? I'm pretty sure it's like sixty percent. Okay, yeah, there was a lot of people not wearing clothes. Is that like a common thing, or is that like a gay club thing? Or maybe it was just that one. <laughs> it was also really hot, but I would but not take also, off my clothes. Cause everyone had abs. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of body dysmorphia. I'm glad I was not a man that in that instance. Well, I'm never a man, but like, I feel like I. I think I was too scared. To like even process what was happening, I got the body dysmorphia later when we were talking about it. If that was a straight club and I saw a lot of scary like straight men with leather shirt dancing, I would like die. I, that would not be a straight club, Gracie. <laughs> no, they no. Like I'm just saying, imagine like I would die. Yeah. Of being scared because I feel like they would kill me. Like I would not even drink there. No. It was just, re- and we saw them doing scary things. Like you know how a couple episodes ago, Gracie said she wanted to have like. She wanted to like listen to oxytocin and have like a a club scene where they where everyone was on drugs. That's literally what it was, and it wasn't fun. Well, we weren't the ones on drugs, that's why. Well, I don't want to do drugs in a place like that. Yeah, I was already either. afraid. I feel like it would just make it worse. First of all, I wouldn't go to Felix for that. I would probably go to Gossip Girl. Oh, so there's another one. It's it's uh it's like a gay bar, but for women. Yeah, so lesbian like, bar. A lesbian bar. Yeah. Is that is that a thing? Like, do you call it a lesbian bar? Yeah. 
Okay. Well, anyways, but I guess that one's geared more towards um, gay women. So, yeah. Look at a woman. Wait, there was no ending to that story. What Although else happened? Oh, they played Rain on Me. Oh, yeah, they played Rain on Me. And Gracia almost had a heart attack. Yeah. Like, she's been wanting to... When we were in New York and we were in Pride, Gracie's like, we have to hear Rain on Me. And it never happened. Yeah. So, like, it's been waiting in her the back of her head. And then, like... Also, when we were in the car, I made a joke. I was like... Gracie's like, I hope they play Rain on Me. And I was like, they probably play it at the every hour, at the top of every hour, like, to show you that the, <laughs> that it's, like, 12. It's 1 a.m. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> like, I, it was, like, a joke. And we get there and they start playing Rain on Me. And Kim, like, looks at her phone, and it's, like, at, like 11 on the dot. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you're lying to me right now. I, were you, everyone was having fun. I think it was a coincidence, but it was so fun. Yeah. What other songs did they play? Really? It was really weird playlists. Yeah. They were they, they were playing, like, Gasolina. No, but they also played, what's that one? S- that one really weird one? The Circus. Wait, no, it's The Circus? No, Vegas Bus. No, do, 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 the do, Vegas do, Bus. Do, do. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Why do they play that? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they played it for me. People were doing poppers listening to the party bus song. And you hate on me for liking the song when everyone was enjoying it. I think they were too out of their mind to realize what was going on. Mm. I didn't hate on you for liking I just, I'm annoyed when we're driving and then all of a sudden that song starts playing. <laughs> I have fun. Anyways, so then, um, I don't even remember what happened next. Oh, we were just there for a little bit. We saw a lot of people we knew. Yeah, it was insane. It was weird. Like half of San Diego. Was Didn't there. you feel like you were like somewhere you shouldn't be? Yeah, because I feel like I was in a way like outing people. But like, they were also there. Yeah, and like we're not. But we're not just, listening. It names. just felt like wrong for some reason. <laughs> it did feel wrong. It I felt, felt like I felt like I was on Grinder <laughs> or something. But in real life, yeah. <laughs> okay, it did. It did. And I was like, probably in the daytime, this place looks really gross. I was scared of like the things you were gonna, and like i was like okay so i was gonna use the bathroom but i looked and it was like packed and i was like i don't want to know what's going on in there so i'm not gonna use the bathroom didn't someone try to drug you too no no oh. thank god because i was driving <laughs> Crazy, was really didn't cool. they offer you something oh yeah someone offered me a shot so they tried to drug you you don't we don't know it was drugged oh. and i uh, thank you so that was a compliment thank you i mean you're no not on. no not you the person who offered me a shot because oh. like they well, right? They thought I was attractive, or maybe they just wanted to drug me. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Oh, you remember the stories that y- you said of the flicks thing? Of who used to go there? <gasps> I oh think you forgot to say that. G- so I was looking at the Yelp reviews before, right before we went, because I was like, I need to know like what the vibe is. And so this one that like, also they were saying they had servers. I never saw. But I the did tables see one. I see some. I s- did see some like with some shots. Oh, it's because we were on the dance floor. Oh, oh, the servers were also not wearing shirts. Oh. So yeah. it was kind of like Hooters. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. With a little bit more poppers. <laughs> anyway. I saw someone doing poppers. Yeah, and Grace had liked it. Yeah. They didn't offer me any though. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think I want to, but I want someone to offer them. I think the idea of poppers is funny to you. Yeah, exactly. I just want them to offer them so I can laugh. And, uh, and then have a story that someone offered me poppers. So we could just pretend someone offered you poppers. Okay. Anyways, so wait, what was I going to say? Oh, so I was reading the reviews, and there was a bunch of saying that, like, they were racist, and, like, there was one saying that, like, a couple people got, like, drugged (laughs) all at the same night. I don't know. But then there was one that was like, oh, yeah, so if you don't know the history of this place, like, Andrew Cunanan, who killed Johnny Versace, and there's a whole show about it called The Assassination of Johnny Versace. But, like, in the show, there's this one scene where he finds his first victim at a gay club. And, like, he grew up in San Diego. Like, we knew this. Like, He grew up in our area. Where yeah. Like, and then... Um, like, he went to my middle school. Yeah. Right? And then, so it turns out that the club we went to is the one where Andrew Cunanan got his first victim. Yeah. And so that is like not cute. That's really scary, actually. <laughs> I literally thought... I would not trust anyone there. I wouldn't either. Actually, at any club, you shouldn't trust anyone. I think that's what it is. I think I just don't like clubbing. Uh-huh. I've realized. You just realized it? I'm well, no, I knew, but like, I was like, maybe I just don't know because I haven't tried. It's kind of like mushrooms. Like when we were in, <laughs> when we were in New York, I was like, I I was like, I don't like mushrooms, but I had never tried them, and I was like, I'm just gonna try them because mm-hmm. like I I'm, I don't care about oh, trying. I thought you meant shrooms for some reason. I'm like, <laughs> Grace, yeah. no, I was like, I don't remember Mush- that rooms. part. Mushrooms fully the word the food, okay. and so <laughs> I don't remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we got this little pizza, and it had mushrooms. It was like, what was it? It was a calzone. 
Calzone. Era un calzón. Calzón. Calzoncillos. And so we we put mush it had mushrooms in it it was like a fancy restaurant and then i was like at first i was like oh my god i like it and then like the more i ate it and the more texture i got from it i realized that i hated mushrooms mm-hmm. but at least i tried and that's yeah. what matters so with clubbing i thought i would hate it i tried it and i do hate it and yeah it's not for everybody i actually like clubs so good for them i'll go again like it's not like hey. it's not like good my for preferred you. huh because you said good for them so i said oh Bye. yeah good for them it's not my preferred way to spend my night mm-hmm. but i wouldn't say no you know oh yeah it's because like i'll do anything honestly <laughs> like as scary as it sounds like a, if someone's like oh do you want to go do this i'll be like yeah mm. like that. i might be scared and then be like what we might die but i'll still do it uh-huh how about you um i like clubs because i like dancing and usually like even if no one's dancing with me like you'll always find me just popping off in the corner by myself that's all that matters if you're having fun like why stop and also like if you're shy about dancing like Wait, don't even I, think about did it did some random man come in all the between all of us and start twerking on me or did i imagine that no he was twerking in not like everywhere he was why did tw- he do that i don't know i thought it was geo's friend no we Gracie, they don't know that man <laughs> stop daniel that was I, a random I, man I th- he like literally twerk on geo and geo twerked back on him that was a random man i thought it was a friend no I well maybe no because he left he never came back. Yeah, I thought they knew him. <laughs> <laughs> we should go to Gossip Girl and see what the vibes yeah, are. Yeah, me too. I want XO, the girly XO. vibes. Better. Should we dress up as Gossip Girl characters? I think we have to. That would be so <laughs> fun. But the old ones, not the not the. Oh new yeah, ones. of course. Actually, I'll do the one with the pink hair. I'll shave my head from the new one. <laughs> do you think I look like him? Yeah. Can I shave it and dye for you? No, <laughs> that actually ends it all. It's a video of us doing Marlisa's hair still on the channel. Yeah. If you guys watch this far, you should go watch the video. Yeah, it's called We Bleached Our Friend's Hair. And it's really good. And like, let us know if you want us to bleach your hair. <laughs> we'll do it for free. Um, anyways, that was, I can't believe that was an hour. Did I we know. talk about anything? We cried at the beginning. I feel like we just did the segments, but they were so long that. Then we had the little story time. Yeah. Anyways, and then we left. Oh, 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 to end the story time. I don't know why we're so frazzled today. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with us? I don't know. But basically, we, we were like, oh, goodbye. And they're like, you just got here. And we're like, yeah, but we want to leave. We also had things to do the next morning. Yeah, and like I was also all of us. dripping sweat. Like, Kim had to go set out the swap meet. Yeah. And we had to go hike. Yeah, way. we were going to go hiking. And also, for some reason, I almost didn't. Like, I slept through my alarm. And you know when people say that? It's like, the alarm turns off. My alarm was ringing for 30 minutes right next to my head and i didn't wake up you were tired i woke up when you texted because i was no you you because no. i got the notification it was like dun dun like the law and order oh. sound effect and that's how i woke up mm. i had just like given up with you being asleep i was like okay and i was like no we're going hiking crazy right now and i was like fine and we said period anyways anyways guys thank you for listening to this episode what's the question <gasps> oh have you done pop <laughs> <laughs> no daniel <laughs> um what should we relate it to? An euphoria moment or no? Or is that too much? No, because we don't want people to be incriminated in the comments. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe they can give us like their favorite Etsy what's your, stores. Or wait, something? if you're 21 plus, what's your order? What's your drink order that oh, we okay. should try out? Okay, yeah. Um, Because I feel like we need more. I just know a Fat Tuesdays. Oh, yeah. Or what else? If you're like under 21, what's your Starbucks drink? Or like coffee Thank order? Thank you. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Period. That was really cute, Grace. Guys, this coffee didn't kick in for some reason. Can you tell us what you had today? Yeah, I had a grande iced um, brown sugar oatmeal espresso. I love this one because it has like double shots of espresso. Mm -hmm. So it makes me feel alive. This is my poppers. (laughs) Daniel. Or no, wait. (laughs) Daniel. (laughs) Can you leave that? Wait, are poppers an upper or downer? Upper. So yeah, this is my poppers. Oh. This is my, wait, is ecstasy an upper? I have no idea. Probably. What's, What's an upper? I pop Xanax. Crack? I don't know. Okay, whatever. This is my crack. <laughs> I have my poppers. Okay. This is uh, my favorite drink. I love this drink so much. And honestly, it doesn't really taste like anything. Does if it I'm have dairy? Um, oat milk. Oh, period. We love That's that. That's part of the drink. It's part of the menu. We love that for you, Daniel. Yeah, I love oat milk. What's your Starbucks order? If what's if you have to order a drink from Starbucks, like mm-hmm. if I'm forcing you with a gun to your head, what are you going to order with coffee? Look at that cute little hummingbird. Mm-hmm. Okay. I gun. can't. I can't drink coffee. Like gun to your head, though. It like makes me have a heart attack. Okay, decaf. Gun to your head. 
I still like affects me for some reason. But you're there's a gun to your head, so you have to order something. Can I just like ask for like the dragon fruit like hibiscus? No, thing? <laughs> there's a gun to your head, so you have to get coffee. <laughs> What would you get before? What was the drink that almost made you have a heart attack? Oh, it was from McDonald's, honey. <laughs> it was like <laughs> oh, an iced coffee latte or something. I think it might have been the sugar greasy because I swear McDonald's coffee doesn't have caffeine. Like the like know. the iced ones. I'm pretty sure it was the sugar because there's so much sugar. I don't sugar. know. I'm glad I don't. No, but even before that, I wouldn't really have coffee. I would just have water because mm. I'm not a coffee person. But like, uh, There's a gun to your head, Gracie. I'll just pick whatever you pick. But with all dairy. <sighs> this drink doesn't have dairy. Then I'll have that. You bet you like okay. You don't like things with flavor, so I would say before like an iced latte. But the the before I would get like a decaf like hot coffee, americano. Oh okay, there we go. Why didn't you just say that? I don't know. Because <laughs> okay, I don't like it anymore. I don't like coffee. Yeah, but there was it was a scenario. Okay, whatever. I have mucus right now. Oh, yeah, that's so gross. Anyways, guys, thank you for listening. Um. The last part of the New York vlog will be up at the end of this week. I know I said Friday last week and then I uploaded it on Sunday. We just got might cut up. Be, might be up on Sunday this week too because of the concert. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be up sometime this weekend. Mm-hmm. And then we have another fun little series coming up very, very soon. But follow us on our in, on our social medias. What is that? Oh, bird. bird. Follow us on our social medias to see when the trailer comes out for the new thing we're doing. We can't talk about it yet. You know how the YouTubers do like, oh, so like I can't say anything about it yet. Yeah, but they still fucking rain it up. Yeah, and then it's something <laughs> stupid. I feel so mad. That's going to be us, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's funny. Yeah. Fun, spooky, a yeah. little spooky. Something fun to keep you entertained. If you like spooky, you're going to like this. Yeah. Okay, bye, guys. Adios.